Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel and welcome to Robotics Tutorials. In this tutorial we explain how to install, run and use a lighter on Raspberry Pi 5, ROS2 Jazzy and Linux Ubuntu. We explain how to build a complete lighter package in ROS2 and Linux Ubuntu and how to visualize lighter measurements in RVIS visualization software that you can see on the computer screen. Here is the close view of the experimental setup. It consists of Raspberry Pi 5 and a lighter. We are using a low-cost lighter produced by Slamtech. In particular, in this tutorial, we are using a Slamtech RP Lighter A1M8. This lighter has an update frequency of 10 Hz and a measurement range of 12 meters. However, everything explained in this tutorial applies to any other lighter produced by Slamtech. Then, we are using a Raspberry Pi 5 with an active cooler. Note that active cooler is sold separately from the Raspberry Pi. To boost the performance of the Raspberry Pi, we installed an NVMe SSD with 500 GB. Here you cannot see an NVMe SSD since it's mounted below. And I will try to move the Raspberry Pi to show you where it is. So below, it's mounted on this base and it sits below Raspberry Pi. The main motivation for using an NVMe SSD comes from the fact that compared to microSD cards, NVMe SSD disks are at least 10 times faster. This reflects itself in a smoother and faster operation of Raspberry Pi 5 and is of crucial importance in read and write tasks. Over here, on the computer screen, you can see RV's visualization of the LiDAR measurements. Every point on this screen represents an object or a surface of an object detected by the LiDAR. The LiDAR gives a scan of all the objects that are detected in the horizontal plane of the LiDAR. That is, LiDAR scans horizontally. It sends a laser beam and the laser beam is being reflected from a surface and detected. However, it detects objects in the plane. That is, this is a two-dimensional lighter. The straight lines over here are actually walls in my room. And notice this curved line or the curved set of points. Now, if I move forward and back, you can see that it moves. Consequently, this is me. So I can move quite fast and you see how it detects me. Or I can move my hand, for example. You can see how everything is being detected. There is this curved line over here that's going to change. And you can see how fast it is. If, for example, if I move the hand with this speed, you'll be able to detect it, which is really awesome. We can also move the lighter in order to demonstrate how it works. For so, for example, over here, we can move the lighter as we wish, and you can notice how the image changes on the computer screen. Very interesting. Note that this lighter costs less than $100, and this lighter is an ideal for learning robot operating systems, simultaneous localization and mapping, as well as robot navigation. Here is the summary, prerequisites and important notes. In this tutorial, we use a Slamtech lighter. In particular, we are using a Slamtech RP lighter A1M8. However, if you are using any other lighter produced by Slamtech, you can also use this tutorial to install it. We will explain how to install any supported Slamtech lighter device at the end of this tutorial. In particular, our Slamtech RP Lighter A1M8 has a range of 12 meters and the update frequency of 10 Hz. It costs less than $100 and it's an excellent device for learning robotics, SLAM, navigation, as well as for building a low-cost mobile robot. It is a USB lighter that can directly be interfaced with a desktop computer or a Raspberry Pi. 
In this tutorial, we are using Raspberry Pi 5 with 8 GB RAM. To improve the performance, we installed an NVMe SSD to our Raspberry Pi 5, which gives us around 10 times faster read and write compared to classical microSD cards. Then, you need to have a working installation of Linux Ubuntu and ROS2. In particular, we are using Linux Ubuntu 24.04 and ROS2 Jazzy. However, with almost no modifications, only one word had to be changed in the installation instructions. You can also use this tutorial in the case of any other ROS2 and Linux Ubuntu version, such as ROS2 Humble and Linux Ubuntu 22.04. However, ROS2 Jazzy is the newest version of ROS2, and if you are completely new to ROS2, then we suggest to start learning ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco, since it will be officially supported until 2029. We created a video tutorial on how to install Linux Ubuntu 24.04 and ROS Jazzy on Raspberry Pi. A link to that video will be provided in the description below. Okay, let's start with installation. The first step is to open a terminal. Over here I'm going to resize this window such that you can see what I'm typing and you can also follow the manual. Let's do that. Good. And let's continue. Whenever you want to install a package or to create your workspace or to do anything in ROS, you need to source the environment. That is, you need to source the setup.bash file that's located in the ROS installation folder. Okay. Next, let's navigate to our home folder. That is, let's make sure that we are in the home folder. And in the home folder, let's create our workspace folder. And inside of the workspace folder, let's create the source folder. Good. Next, let's navigate to our source folder. And over here in this source folder, we need to download or to clone the remote repository. This remote repository is created by Slamtech and it contains the source file for building the ROS2 package for using the lighter. Consequently, we need to type this. This will actually download everything and now if you type this command, you will see this folder and this folder contains all the source files. Next, we need to build the package. As always, whenever you want to build the package, make sure that you are actually in the home workspace folder, that is in our W space slider, and over here you need to run this command, colcon build simlink install, and this will build the package. And here you need to be patient, since it will take a while to build this package. It's not going to be too long, maybe like 30 seconds or maximum one minute, depending how fast is your Raspberry Pi 5. In my case, Raspberry Pi 5 has 8 GB of RAM, and what is crucial, it also has an SSD, in particular NVMe SSD, and consequently the read and write speed is super fast, and compilation actually doesn't depend on how fast is your SSD, it mainly depends how fast is your processor. However, compared to Raspberry Pi 4, Raspberry Pi 5 has much faster processor, and I can verify that and I can confirm that since I'm able to actually record this video and at the same time compile which I was not able to do on, in Raspberry Pi 4. Okay, let's analyze what happened. Now you see over here, summary, one package finished. One package had the standard error output. Now, don't panic. These are not the errors. These are actually warnings, as you can see over here. So there are no errors, and you will be able to use your lighter. Okay, so we created our package, and the next step is to source the created package. To do that, we need to execute this file, setup.bash, in the installation folder. So let's do that. And here it is. Now we can 
use our lighter. But before we can even try to use the lighter, we need to attach the lighter to your USB port. So make sure that the lighter is attached to the USB port and I will do it right now. And you will hear how the lighter will start spinning. Here it is. You can see in the background taka 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 sound. This means the lighter is spinning. Good. The next step is to make sure that we have the proper permission on our USB port. First of all, you need to find the appropriate USB port and usually we, I do it like this and this command will give you the number of your USB port. In my case, it's TTY USB 0. It's very important to know this number since, and these letters and this uh, name of your USB port since we need to use it. Now, we need to set the proper permission to our USB port. We do it like this. This command will make sure that we can read from this USB port. And over here you need to enter your password. And finally we can start using our lighter. To use the lighter we need to execute this command. This command will actually execute this file view as slider a1 launch.py and this launch.py file or the python file will create our vis visualization of lighter measurements okay now you always need to do ros2 launch then you need to specify the name of the package the name of the package is s slider ros and then finally you need to specify the name of the file so let's run this and let's see what happens. Now over here, you can see the measurements. Here they are. They look beautiful. Now you can rotate our vis, you can do all sorts of things. And if I move it, move my lighter, I can see how the measurements are changing in real time, which is truly amazing in my opinion. Taking into account with that with $250, you can have a a working slam system on your computer and you can put it on top of a mobile robot and you can have your own navigation system which is truly truly amazing in order to eliminate the background sound while I'm filming this video I stop my lighter and next I will explain how to run any other lighter supported by slam tech over here I will close Arvis I don't want to save anything and over here I'll press Control C to stop execution of my node. Now let's go to this folder. This folder is the main folder of our package and let's go to the launch files. Oops, I made an error here. I need to do CD of this thing, right? Okay, so let's type this. And let's see here, what do we have? Here you have a number of files and these are the launch files for the specific SlamTech lighter. For example, currently we executed this file. However, <clears throat> if you want to execute any other file for any other version of SlamTech lighter, you need to run these launch files. So for example, if you want to run a lighter A2M7, you need to execute this file. If you want to run, for example, this lighter S2E, you need to execute this file. Or for example, if you want to run A2M12, you need to execute this file over here. Okay, now how to execute these files? For example, in the case of A2M7, I will simply execute this file over here and of course this should start however it's not going to be supported that is I don't have this lighter over here consequently you will not see anything over here however that's the procedure okay I hope that you like this video if you like the videos I'm creating please press the like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next video